Hey folks, and welcome back to Subterrain. So let me just make a quick inventory check here before we leave, for we are about to head off to the space shuttle. So we have our spacesuits, we have three rocket fuel, we have filter and regulator in case we need them, the navigation module, we have nothing extra that we don't need. All medical supplies seems okay. All power packs are okay. All our weapons are in okay condition. And the um, reactor is in is in risk of overheating. Okay, so let's grab this one and replace a module. So which one? 1100... Yeah, this one seems fine. There we go, so let's just head over and recycle this one. Then I'll say we're ready to go. Uh, where is it? Didn't I pick it up? Oh, there it is. Okay then, well, let's head off. And hopefully the game doesn't screw us over this time, just saying. Now for those of you who haven't seen the cutscene, I will let it roll. For those of you who have seen it, just skip it over if you don't want to see it. <laughs> And I'll probably cut out the um, walking part later on because it's just a whole lot of nothing and it usually takes a while before we, I find the mansion. And that part is simply boring. So I will be cutting it out, I think. Yeah, gonna ignore you, gonna ignore you. And ignore you. It's interesting that you can fire straight through the space shuttle. That's interesting. Anyway, that one goes in here, these go in here. No. Dude. You don't have the spacesuit on. Dude. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. After a short cruise, I made it to Mars Orbital Station. As I approached, a hail request lit up on the screen. A young man in a uniform suddenly appeared. Was he a soldier? Maybe Mars Security? He asked for my name, and I hesitated. I am a murderer, after all. His eyes narrowed. His face slowly became a scowl. He was judging my sentence. Before I said a word, he cut the transmission. An ion cannon lined up with my shuttle, firing two blasts towards me. 
The first missed, but the second hit the shuttle square in the portside engine. The explosion ripped the ship in half. A flood of red warning lights swept over the consoles. I barely made it to the escape pod. I didn't even have time to eject. The force of the explosion propelled me away. Ah, Christ. I almost made it. I almost made it. Now, I'm aimlessly floating through space. Adrift. Forgotten. Okay, so we're actually still alive even though we don't have the spacesuit on. Interesting. But just in case, let's just put it on right right away. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, where is it? There we go. There, much better. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this part out because this is gonna take forever. So see you guys once I reach the mansion. And finally here. So that wasn't actually as bad this time since I kind of knew where I was going. So it only took four minutes hmm. compared to the 10 or f probably around 10 minutes that it took last time. <laughs> anyway, so there was a message during when during the <coughs> sorry, during the walk, but if you want to read that, you're going to have to look up my previous playthrough. You can read it there. Oh, and I need to change suit again. There we go. Place all these over here. There we go. And let's find us some mutants. Now this should, in theory, anyway, be easier than the previous time, considering the entire place probably won't be filled with, you know, super mutants. Feels like I've forgotten something here. Isn't there supposed to pop up a message around here? Like, where am I? Message? Ah, well, anyway. Do, 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 do. Grab all the stuff. Grab all the stuff. I think that was everything. And I think that was actually our last research that, which was completed, at least in the, uh, uh, what's it called? I actually don't know what it's called. I know that one of the research stations are called the bio-research, but I don't remember what the other one is called. Anyway, so the last one in the other one that I don't remember the name of research is currently empty. Or I could just check. Uh, tech research system. Yeah, there we go. That one is empty. else? Yeah, you're still just hanging around. What else? 
Go away. Still quite a few people here. Yeah, we have almost burned through one entire power pack. And someone has gone mad here. Two of them have actually gone mad. Well, you know, as long as they don't hit me, I'm fine with that. Here we go. Yeah, we still haven't run into that message I was talking about. I'm guessing it maybe only appears the first time you're here. Like, ever in the game? I don't know. But if you want to read it, at least I think there's supposed to be one. I think he mentioned something when he sees the first corpse in the uh, second room. That it looks like a security guard with uh, a different out outfits or something. Anyway, I if you want to read it and if I am right, then it should be in the... Not the last one, but the next last one of my previous... Of the previous season. Yeah, this is so much nicer without super mutants everywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing up here. Guessing there's nobody in here, we're just gonna close this door. No, don't sit. I'm pretty sure we are looking for a key card. <clears throat> but I don't remember exactly where it was. I know it's around here somewhere, but... Okay, bag is full. Roger that. Let's close this door. Well, we will be returning here eventually, so we can just pick up all the items that time. Ouch. Stop hitting me, please. a lot of weapons, nothing we can take. Okay, so let's just speed through this. Oh, right, right. Um, I, we do need to find the key card, so we do need to check through all the drawers and stuff. Forgot about that. Okay, nothing here. Did I? Al oh, have I already picked it up? No, I haven't. I'm guessing this is just a weapon storage, so it shouldn't be in here. No. But here? No. Good.
And was it in the fancy room? Maybe? Oh, and haven't we picked up a few uh, data cards by now? No? Seriously? Hmm, this is weird. This is really weird. I'm sure there are supposed to be, like, a few uh, pages that you can pick up so you can learn more of the story of the place. And we should have at least found one of them by now. Okay, there, there's one. Okay, there's the key card. That's good. And also, if you want to know the story, I do read through it. If you want to hear me read it, so you can just, you know, mute <laughs> and read it for yourself. But you're gonna have to go back to my to the previous season. Sorry about that. But since I've already gone through it once, uh, I don't really see a reason to do it again. Also, this weapon doesn't have its full link capacity used, because I didn't have uh, the uh, that good um, weapon parts. So it only has like 600 out of 700, I think. Okay, here's one. But that's not the, the note I was talking about earlier. Okay, we can't go in here. Still need some more key cards. Anything over here? What? What? Did somebody just hit me? Oh, there. Hello. Anyway, what I was gonna say earlier about the weapon not having used up its full link capacity, I do feel that the weapon is getting overheated rather quickly compared to the previous version of the weapon. Okay, there we go. I think that's the one we need. Uh, we can... I guess we can drink something, maybe? Here, have a beer. And uh, get rid of the crowbar and take this one. There we go. And you know, if if you want to hear the story of the game, then I guess I can just tell it to you, at least the parts that I know. So there was this scientist who uh, framed Dr. West for a murder in order to get a hold of his research, which was some form of nanotech research, which was supposed to cure an illness that his uh, wife had, had attracted. But uh, the people here on Mars, or more specifically, the chief here on Mars, which is Murray something, I don't remember his full name, but the uh, spaceport and I think also the mine is, um, has his name. Anyway, so they framed Dr. West, took his research, and the end result were the these mutations. If you want more details, like I said, go back to my previous episodes and you can read the whole thing there. This should be the last or the second last episode. Okay, there was another key card. And yeah, now we're starting to find the journals. That's good. Uh, let's see, we can get rid of this one. we we'll take that one. Uh, 
And for those of you who don't know, this is kind of the part where I died. I didn't die from any monster or such a thing. It was my uh, contamination was so high that it started to drain my life. And I, there were no medical supplies in this facility. So I couldn't get back home without dying on the way on the way there. Okay, so are these working? They are working, but they are not the best modules. So we'll install the new ones. Also the one in here. And we need to find the blueprints. Actually, let's just save here so I don't screw something up. You never know. And once we have the blueprints, I'll probably end the episode here. I don't think it was in this room. It should be in the next one. On the right. That's the security door again. And behind this door is where the last boss battle should be. But in order to get in there, we have to clear out all the other infestations around the facility. I mean, around the colony. Mansion gates, thank you. And there should be a blueprint here. Somewhere. Do we get it when we press the button? Do I have enough space in my inventory? I do not. Okay, let's get rid of that. Activate fear fire. No. Not yet. But where is the blueprint? Seriously. Or did we already get the blueprint? Do we have the blueprint? No, we don't have the blueprints. So, where is it? Hmm. That's odd. Could I sworn you were supposed to pick up a blueprint here somewhere? Let me just check the journals here real quick. Uh, not put swish until we're ready. Speed up the blah blah blah. So yeah, it does mention some form of prototypes. But I don't remember where... Or even if I did get some form of blueprints, actually. Hmm. Now I'm just confused, but maybe I... Maybe I'm just thinking about this wrong. Maybe we're just supposed to hook up all the uh, areas with normal filters? No, that doesn't sound right. Should be some prototypes up around here, or we have to use the regulator and filters that are in central, because that place isn't contaminated. Oh well, we'll figure that out in the next episode. Anyway, so, if you guys like this one, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't, and a comment down below. And if you want to see more daily content here from me, then please, do subscribe. And I hope you guys have a good one, and thank you for watching.